Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studios series Bumblebee movie Core Class Shockwave. Now this is in fact the first Core Class figure that we've ever seen for the Studios series and what a mighty little cracker this guy is. Now granted a lot smaller than Shockwave should actually be of course he should be more along the lines of a leader of Voyager. However if this guy is anything to go by the actual upscale that we are undoubtedly going to be seeing in the future is going to be awesome as this guy is actually really really well done. Now of course the design from the Bumblebee movie as I've said so many times, we're honestly some of the best. And Shockwave, much like Soundwave, Optimus, Bumblebee, etc., really translated so nicely on screen. And this figure is a great amalgamation of the old and the new. And once more, I really hope this is the design that we can see going forward for Shockwave in future live action Transformers movies. So without further ado, let's get stuck into this video. You can see that in regards to the detail, the face sculpt is just absolutely incredible. Once again, not only for the scale class, but also for the price point. They've put so much paint on this, as well as detailing. You can see there, of course, we've got the classic Cyclops eye there for Shockwave with these really awesome purple paint apps surrounding this as well as some awesome mechanical silver detailing and even as we turn here towards the side you can see that very square boxy design with these awesome metallic silver ears. Decepticons destroy the launch pad let none escape now as we turn our attention here to the top, once again the sculpt work continues as this is a live action movie figure, it's a little more busier when in comparison to some of the other Kingdom Core class figures but honestly the attention to detail that they've managed to replicate at this scale is really impressive. You can see here some of these vents or thrusters have been sculpted really nicely and then as we spin our attention down to the torso, really nice layered detailing going on here with these purple panels, some nice silver details there as well as here for this front chest unit and then as we turn our attention to the arms, very thick and bulky. Now granted they've taken a little bit of creative liberty with this, of course in the movie Shockwave didn't in fact actually have treads but as this is an official figure they had to give him an alt mode so you will see a few treads scattered throughout this guy but not looking too bad at all I think the Scott work is very very nicely done and of course we've got Shockwave's classic massive arm cannon here which honestly has never looked better this is super super impressive and once more the detailing on this is awesome imagine how good it's going to be on a bigger Voyager or a leader figure you can see there's some very nice silver paint especially as we get here towards the tip of the cannon and then as we just turn our attention down to the thighs these two also look really really impressive with once more some very nice detailing going on for the shins. The foot design is pretty cool although I would have liked to have seen this perhaps cast out of a similar colour of plastic to what we've got going on here for the actual shins and the forearms but regardless even turning here from a side perspective you can see some really nice tread detailing and even from the back they've gone all out you can see some nice spinal detailing there for Shockwave. Once again some lovely mechanical detailing and overall I just think the colour palette for this guy works out so so nicely. Now getting down to articulation Shockwave does have a swivel joint here at the head which can rotate left to right. We get ball joints here at the arms which can rotate the full 360 as well as hinge out to the sides. Surprisingly, we do in fact actually get two rotations here at the upper bicep and at the elbow, mainly due to transformation. So we do get a bicep rotation here, of course, the 90 degree range of motion here for the elbow, and then due to transformation, a secondary rotation here at the lower section so if you wanted to in fact actually have the arm cannon in a slightly different position then you absolutely can do that sadly no form of waist rotation although the legs can kick forwards that far back to that far as well as out to the sides we sadly don't get any form of thigh rotation although we do get a decent bend here at the knee and finally the foot can kick forwards and backwards but it would have been nice to have seen these on ball joints so that we could have slightly angled these in but overall once again for the ten dollar price point i think articulation is definitely pretty decent at least in my opinion it is really the detail that sells me on this guy now of course shockwave comes with one accessory that being this massive arm cannon now this is in fact detachable so you can insert it onto either of the arms it's completely up to your own personal preference or you can have a slightly more humanoid look for this guy and essentially just give him two arms if i just bring this gun in here for a closer look once more detailed very very nicely and overall looks pretty epic especially considering how awesome this guy looked on screen it's great to see how they've managed to replicate that once again here for the core class now bringing in some comparisons here we have our studio series core class compared next to some of the kingdom figures now, honestly, considering how much inspiration this actually takes from the G1 design, I actually don't think he looks too out of place alongside some of these generation characters, despite actually being from the live action movie verse. So, for those of you who just want a legend scale version of Shockwave, once again, I think this guy's going to look great. And rounding off some of these comparisons, see, we've got Shockwave compared next to both Core Class Prime as well as Soundwave. So, once again, really awesome scale between these figures. Now, turning to transformation, surprisingly for the scale class, he's actually fairly intricate. So, to begin with, you're going to want to take the fusion cannon and just attach that here from the arm take this post and click this section forward it is in fact held in via a very soft ratchet so just set that here off to the side we can then come to the arms and you can see here at this lower rotation joint you are in fact going to want to swivel this to the back as this tab will now in fact actually lock there into that slot so come here to this side and of course repeat the same process 
rotate this section around and that tab will respectively peg into that slot. We can then take Shockwave's head, rotate this so that the front is now facing the back, come to the fire region and essentially hinge this section forward and break this connection here. And of course, come to this side and then come to the foot and click these forwards until they do in fact actually lock into place. And do the same here for this side. We can then come here to the torso region, disengage this chest piece, pull this entire region forwards all the way over and then this tab will peg into a slot on the underside really securely there and you can see that we've got two circular cutouts here and here that would in fact peg into those circular tabs so snap them in there snap that section in and then for some finishing touches essentially take this entire gray region and check out that we've even got some really nice molded in detailing here for the interior something which you may in fact actually never notice which is a really nice touch but take this section bring this forwards and then we've got these cutouts here at the top of the shoulders that would in fact essentially just sort of rest into these tabs here and of course lock this one into place and then finally we're going to want to bring back in the fusion cannon and this tab will now peg into the port on the back of Shockwave's head so just to line that up give this section here a little wriggle and there we've got Shockwave fully transformed up into his rather cool looking Cybertronian tank. Now granted we never actually see Shockwave transform in the movie but this is a really cool alt mode and of course harkens back to his alt form that we actually saw him obtain in Transformers Prime and honestly it's a heck of a lot better than whatever that alt mode they've given Soundwave. This actually looks pretty decent so you can see of course the fusion cannon does become the main turret of this and I think it looks pretty cool due to the actual hinge joint you can in fact actually arch this up and down and considering it's connected onto the head we can also rotate that left to right which is pretty cool you can see the tread detailings here now doing for that surface of the base which i think looks pretty awesome sadly the fists do just merely stick out the back but honestly not looking too bad and once again considering how awesome this guy's actually been sculpted i think he makes for a pretty convincing cybertronian tank so overall definitely a pretty awesome alt mode to accommodate a very movie accurate robot mode once again for the scale class honestly this guy just makes me super excited to see how the inevitable upscale will in fact turn out as if they've been able to achieve so much here with this tiny $10 core class, I can only begin to imagine how awesome an actual Voyager or Leader class figure would be. Honestly, all you've got to do is include the hose that would attach onto the fusion cannon in robot mode and tweak some things such as the articulation. And honestly, I think you've got already a perfect figure. Hasbro and Takara definitely have knocked it out of the park. And if this guy is a sign of things to come in regards to core class for the studio series, then I'm absolutely all here for it as I think he's really, really awesome. And here for a size comparison, we've got core shockwave compared next to core kingdom Megatron. So some final thoughts for this Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee movie core class Shockwave. Overall for the $10 price point, honestly I think this guy is smashing. In regards to the robot mode, considering his scale, I think they've done an exceptional job. It truly does now the look of Shockwave from that solo movie and honestly it's just such a wicked design. To see it translate so well in a smaller figure only makes me anticipate the larger release even more as they've been able to accomplish so much here with this guy with a significant higher price point. Honestly, we're looking at something that could potentially be almost pixel perfect to what we've actually seen on screen. I think this guy's got a decent amount of paint applied to him especially where that head sculpt is concerned honestly that just looks terrific i think the arm cannon is awesome the proportions for the most part are really cool maybe the feet are slightly too large or that could just be down to the simple fact they've been cast out of gray plastic so do slightly stand out when in comparison to the rest of the purple armor but other than that i think he's a really cool figure articulation is also pretty decent transformation surprisingly is fairly intricate and despite this guy never actually transforming in the movie i think they've given him a really awesome alt mode of course taking heavy inspiration from how he transformed in transformers prime so with all that being said, for the first core class into the studio series, this guy gets a massive recommendation from me. All that really confuses me is as to why we've actually seen a core class release for this guy before we've seen the likes of the leader and Voyager. Usually it works in the opposite way. We usually get the bigger figures first and then of course get the core class or legends figures later. But nevertheless, this guy's really well done. And honestly, if you just want a fun shockwave to in fact display with some of your other kingdom core class figures, or maybe if you just actually want to branch out into these legend scale figures, then I think this guy is really well done once again for the price point. So with all that being said, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below on the Bumblebee movie Shockwave, as well as, of course, the review. And as always, I thank you guys all so much for watching. Until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.